Hello, friends, and welcome back to the 2.718281828 Productions Pwn Your Homework Physics Series YouTube channel. Building on our last discussion, units of measure, we can further describe units by appending prefixes when the description of units becomes cumbersome. This usually occurs when measuring items on a non-human scale, either microscopic or macroscopic. For example, 0 0.000000006 meters can be very annoying and somewhat difficult to visualize, whereas using a word such as the nanometer is much easier to say and has some items in the same size range which can easily be used as a means of comparison. The powers of 10 prefixes modify our modern numbers and assume a designated power of 10 which is then multiplied to the unit. Essentially what this does is for smaller numbers, the powers of 10 lets you know how many times to slide the decimal point. For larger numbers, the prefix tells you how many zeros to append to the number. For example, 9 times 10 to the 9th power is a 9 followed by 9 zeros. An example of this is the speed of light. The speed of light is roughly 300 million meters per second, which is a 3 followed by 8 zeros. It will be possible to use a prefix to specify the units as 0.3 gigameters per second, although no self-respecting physicist would ever do this. Common prefixes range from 10 to the minus 15th to 10 to the 15th. Normally prefixes go by powers of 3, except close to 10 to the 0th power, or 1, which centralizes around human size orders of magnitude. So without further ado, let's get into the powers of 10 prefixes. 10 to the minus 24th uses the prefix yocto, abbreviated by a lowercase y. 10 to the minus 21st uses the prefix zepto, abbreviated by a lowercase z. 10 to the minus 18th uses the prefix addo, abbreviated by a lowercase a. 10 to the minus 15 uses the prefix femto, abbreviated by lowercase f. 10 to the minus 12 uses the prefix pico, abbreviated by lowercase p. 10 to the minus 9 uses the prefix nano, abbreviated by lowercase n. 10 to the minus 6 uses the prefix micro, abbreviated by a lowercase Greek letter mu. 10 to the minus 3 uses the prefix milli, abbreviated by lowercase m. 10 to the minus 2 uses the prefix centi, abbreviated by lowercase c. 10 to the minus 1 uses the prefix deci, abbreviated by lowercase d. 10 to the first power uses the prefix deca, abbreviated by an uppercase d or a lowercase da. 10 to the second power uses the prefix hecto, abbreviated by a lowercase h. 10 to the third power uses the prefix kilo, abbreviated by a lowercase k. 10 to the sixth power uses the prefix mega, abbreviated by an uppercase m. 10 to the ninth power uses the prefix giga, abbreviated by an uppercase g. 10 to the twelfth power uses the prefix tera, abbreviated by an uppercase t. 10 to the fifteenth power uses the prefix peta, abbreviated by an uppercase p. 10 to the 18th power uses the prefix exa, abbreviated by an uppercase e. 10 to the 21st power uses the prefix zeta, abbreviated by an uppercase z. 10 to the 24th power uses the prefix yada, abbreviated by an uppercase y. That's 1 followed by 24 zeros. Now that we have reviewed these powers of 10 prefixes, we can see how these are used in modifying units of measure. Some common prefixes in action are the kilogram, or 1,000, or 10 to the third grams, the kilometer, or 10 to the third meters, the micrometer, or 10 to the minus 6 meters, the microgram, or 10 to the minus 6 grams, the millimeter, or 1,000th, or 10 to the minus third meters, the gigabyte, or 1 billion, that is 10 to the ninth bytes, the petaflop, or 10 to the 15th flops, this is computer jargon for floating point operations. And finally, the nanometer at 10 to the minus 9th meters. Well, that's going to do it for our review of the powers of 10. Tune into part 2 of the video to review some of the more common prefixes in a flashcard style review. Thanks for tuning in to the 2.718281828 Productions YouTube channel. Find us online at 2718productions.com, on Twitter at 2718productions, and check out the supplemental Pwn Your Homework Physics Series podcast at pwnyourhw.blogspot.com.